Hello and welcome back people. My name is Reza Afshar. This is Chris Bridgen. What is going on in Maryland? That's up to his knees. That's up to his knees. Oh, be careful, buddy. Oh, my. It's harrowing footage. Your umbrella's not gonna help at this point. A Maryland town flooded by devastating rain. Eight inches in just three hours. Like it's a bubble in the basement. I don't think I'm, without exaggeration, saying that this is worse than July 30th of 2016. Now, less than two years later, the scene here is eerily similar to July of 2016. It's unbelievable. 2016, we had a one in a thousand year flood. So should have happened like once every thousand years. And again, it's happened two years later. Same mm. catastrophic um, uh, incident guys uh, just can you just watch this whole video because we've got something pretty special that we want to show you later on so just hold up a second people um i know chris has got some scriptures there but uh, you know god is in control people god is in control he made the universe whether you like it or not whether you believe it or not he made the universe he he is in control of that mm. he 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 completely knows the order of everything you look at how spectacular the universe is every single milky way solar system sun planet he created everything it's in, it's in order it's not mm. chaotic mm. and the same thing happens to the earth the earth there is order there is structure the weather the ecosystem the animals the plants the life it's beautiful and there is order so god is like you can't say god is um in control of the universe but always not in control of the earth or the weather that's just absolutely you know, not true. He is completely in control. And I know Chris has got some scriptures on, you know, on this. this. Yeah, this, this is really just referencing the rain because we see a lot of these floods, not just in Ellicott City, but across the world. And I just want to show you what the Bible says about God controlling really uh, the rain. It's Genesis 2 verse 5. It speaks about, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain on the earth. So at this particular time, uh, when he created Adam and Eve, there was no rain. God had not caused it to rain. So it hadn't been going on for millions and millions of years. At that time, God said, no rain. And then there came a time when it did rain. The first time in the Bible is, is uh, Noah. That's the first time uh, rain is mentioned. Um, Matthew 5, Jesus says, uh, God sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. So again, he's the one sending the rain on, on the righteous and the unrighteous. So, so again, it's another scripture that tells us that he is in control. People can overlook that. Because yeah. it's saying God is sending it. Yeah, he's sending he, it. He, he set it up. He sent, he's sending he's, it. He's yeah. sending it. And also there's mm. Nahum 1 verse 3. This is in regards to judgment. So he, again, he's using the weather, not just to bless, but to bring about warnings and judgments. Uh, the Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm. Well, storms, what do we normally get? Hail, heavy rain, floods, strong winds. This is what we get. So again... Um, He's in control. Yeah. This is the point of these three scriptures. So we don't want you to just dismiss what's happening in the world as, you know, it's happening all the time. No, God knows what's going on. He knows what's about to hit every place in the world, whether it's going to be, you know, a nice bit of rain or, or heavy flooding, you know. So, so he, his hand is on everything. And um, Can I just jump in there as well? Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, I know people can just overlook scripture. I'm very, very guilty of that myself. But if you're new to the channel, we, I know we've used this before, but when Chris said about God's way is in the whirlwind, that is the that is his way. Mm. You know, don't overlook that. God's way is in correction and discipline, like we discipline a child or he disciplines us through the weather. So do not overlook that and say God would never do that because then you're just you just overlook the scripture because mm. his way is in the whirlwind that's right yeah, yeah. And, he, and he is a judge and he judges and uh, if he doesn't he also chastises those that he loves so so he, he wants to bring correction to a nation by by, mm. by allowing these things to happen so he brings them back into line if he doesn't do it then it, that shows he doesn't care as, as a parent loved a child they, they would discipline them to bring correction and, and to bring them back into line that's how he does it with us so, so it's a good thing. It's a good thing. If he didn't do it, 
again, like I said, it shows that he doesn't care, but he does care. Mm. It makes so, sense, and it scripturally makes sense. Scripturally, yeah, just, just yeah. How it is. So, so yeah. Um, yeah, it's a really good point. We will talk about this more in other videos to come, but uh, I just think it was really, you know. And the message, I want to say, guys, the message of this is to turn to the Lord, repent. That's the whole point of this. He wants us to repent. So, get right with the Lord Jesus. Mm. Yeah. We all need to get right with the Lord yeah. Jesus. You know, that, that is the whole point of Christianity, isn't it? Letting other people know to get right with the Lord Jesus. All right, guys, let's move on. Okay, we're doing some wonderful work in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. When I say we, not just me and Chris, but hundreds and hundreds of other people are all supporting this project. So, uh, yeah, let's, um, let's have a look at the work that uh, has been going on in Pakistan.
in the book of Romans, it says, how then shall they call on him on whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? This is the book of Romans. And it's, you know, this project is so special. We are sending preachers, we're sending the Bible and everyone's involved doing that. So please consider supporting this uh, wonderful work that's really been inspired by the Holy Spirit. Um, and uh, we're so blessed to see so many people coming to salvation. So um, like the video said, we need another thousand Bibles if you want to help. So we'll leave it there, I think, mm -hmm. with that. But it's going, it's going so Thanks. wonderful. Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for your support. You've been great, mm -hmm. really have. Yeah. We want to hear from you as well. If you support the project let us know if you've never this is the first video you've ever seen say hello we read every single comment that's sent in and we try to respond to the majority of them so if you write in we will try our best to at least like or love your comment or, or, or reply to it so we really do want to hear from you um, and if you can be so super kind if you can subscribe to the channel that also will help us and the bible mission as well so thank you so much we'll see you soon